Don't waste a step. Sad. Shh. Listen. Don't you hear it? It's so peaceful. A sweet melody beckons you. It vibrates with magic. A harpy's charm. The suffocating yearning suddenly fades as the spell breaks. You are free. should work. Straight. 
on the move. No. Yes. I mean, I don't know. Th that's what the voice said. I almost got to the nest, but the singing. I need to get back. Mole will be so mad. <laughs> Wait, um, you should meet Mole. She'll be grateful you helped me. Find a boy called Donny. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. Can't give up now. That scamp reminds me of myself when I was a nipper. Always getting into trouble. And worse. One time, my parents denied me a kitten, so I summoned myself a tressim. Ah, oh, dear old Tara. Beautiful creature. Benefits of a wizard's education, you see. Of course, my considerable talent didn't hurt either. Well, that depends on who you ask, I suppose. I may have summoned things rather more exotic than a winged cat. There was that magma method once. Nice fellow, we kept in touch. Of course, in walked the housekeeper, screaming, yelling, panic, and before you know it, fire everywhere. Anyway, I'm glad we got that boy out of his predicament. Poor lad would have been harpy feed if it wasn't for us. Oh, enough sitting around. Let's go hurt someone. My feet can carry me.
This devil, Raphael, flaunts his paltry wings as if he wants to impress us. You saw the red dragon slaying his infernal kin above hell's fires, did you not? Next to a dragon, the devil's a gnat. When I am Kithrak, I will take my queen Vlakith his head as a trophy. Githyanki knights, the riders that chase the Nautiloid. They are the commissars and enforcers of my queen Vlakith's will. Vlakith bestows no greater honor. To wield a Kithrak silver sword is my destiny. I will earn my queen's favor, and I will conquer every layer of hell should she command it. The Geich are my kind's mortal enemy. It is not unusual for the Kithrak to give chase. To penetrate the Hells? This is unusual. But I'm not one to question the wisdom of my queen. I can see but to the horizon. Vlakith's sight pierces the many planes. Speak. If you must know... Vlakith requires everything of her children. I can't count how many bruises I've inflicted. Can't measure how much blood I've drawn in the Undying Queen's name. I know only blood red and death black. My mind is silver, and my body steel. I am what I must be. Say what I must be. To survive every beast I face and every wound I bear. One couldn't, and one shouldn't. Do as you like. The loss is not so much mine as yours. Of course you have. If I'm in the mood for a lay, I'll know who to call on. way with words, Gale. Perhaps oration suits you more than battle. They're not mutually exclusive. The weave is... <laughs> now there's a bloody devil trailing after us. Well, this gets better and better. Shop around, he said. He seems sure we won't find anything. And he might be right. We've had no luck so far. Maybe. But all that, take your time, I'll wait, nonsense. He's playing with us. He reminds me of, well, someone I used to know. And someone I like to play with people. Creatures like them don't play games unless they know they can win. Maybe. But he's not the only one spinning a web for us. This is no ordinary Mind Flayer parasite. Who tampered with it, and why? What do they have planned for us? And why are we important enough that a devil comes knocking on our door? If we find those answers, we might have a chance. Yes? Do you feel as flattered as I do? Fight it to dine with a devil. <laughs> Don't let his bluster fool you. All that talk of desperation merely illustrates his own. I think he wants something from us badly. And in that knowledge lies our opportunity. our souls but i suspect that's but his opening offer let me play the devil's advocate the man is too eager do not dismiss his offer out of hand if there's one quality all the denizens of the hells embody it's ambition a quality they share with many humans come to think of it i'm the foggiest but 
Based on the evidence before us, we can make certain deductions as to why he sought out our merry band. Fact one. There's something very strange and very powerful about our tadpoles. Fact two, a devil offers to take it away. Devils aren't known to aid mortals out of simple kindness. Whatever Raphael wants, we must be the key to getting it, along with our tadpoles. So, I say for now, we wait. If I'm right, Raphael will seek us out again, and when he does, there's a mighty bargain to be made. Remember his Cormirian rhyme? Down came the claw. Perhaps we should start growing our nails. How can I help? the end of this. If I'd got that stupid idol, I'd be a hero. Least I tried. No one else was doing anything. They were talking when the druids were getting ready to throw us out. Why can't we just stay in until it's safe? Because of you, I... The road to Baldur's Gate looks a little less... Think you could stand back a ways, pal? I'm fishing for ch Those druids are going to get us He's mining opening something. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. Never see us coming. When do I get to run the game scan? <clears throat> Sylphie got caught. We have to lay low for a while. I knew she wasn't ready. Can you stop? It's not like you never got caught. Oh. Hello again. Um. Mole's in charge here. 
not me. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Mercon says you got him out of a tight spot with some harpies. Gotta say, I'm impressed. You saved Arabella from the druids. Don't know what those bastards would have done. And thanks for going easy on Sylphie. Not many marks would have done the same. We're saving up for a better hideout when we get to Baldur's Gate. Why? You planning on telling me stealing is wrong? Won't turn down free money. I've got operating costs you wouldn't believe. Come see me in the city sometime, huh? I'll repay this and then some. See you around, maybe. I should thank you properly for the harpies. So I wrote you a story. I... I don't have any gold. Sorry. It's about you. I hope you like it. Not long until we leave now. You don't look so tough. Mull thought of a hobgoblin all by herself. Sorry about the nest. You guys find anything good today? No. Everyone's got junk. Worse than junk. Don't worry, kid. In Boulder's Gate, purses practically grow on trees. Be patient. We'll get there. Indolence breeds madness. Onward. Still breathing, despite everything. The gate will never see Another us coming. Forward. I wonder when the goblins will come. You say that like you're looking forward to it. Me and Roland would never admit it. 
but they take an arrow for the other. Also stab each other. Not sure what will come first. Thanks for cutting in. There might have been more than words if you hadn't. My thunder wave will make quick work of any goblin. Just you wait. Those goblins will rule the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. No helping it. We're exposed now. You! Saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. You've been on hard times too, huh? That doesn't mean it's behind us though, does it? Here, have more. We'll need every bit of strength to make it to Baldur's Gate. Trust me. Hmm. You've had your share, Lee. We're exposed now. Ah, uh, it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh! There isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Pickle. Are you harsh, cold, feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Aha! You take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Oh, it is just a healing potion, nothing fancy. Here. You just look like you might need a pick-me-up. I'm sorry to go on about it, but are you all right? You're looking awful peaky. Oh, I've seen it all. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. But worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. My point is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. Why, she sounds positively demented. I love it. Let's tell her everything. What is it, Petal? What's wrong? As you recount your adventure, Auntie Ethel nods along, her eyes wide. You poor pet! My heart goes out to you, truly! I see no sign of a tentacle yet, but that could change in an instant. You need help. Serious help. I've ne'er a potion or lotion here that could do it, but... Yes, I may have something at home. I've collected some interesting bits and bobs over the years. You'll have to stop by my house just at the edge of the forest. Let me mark it on your map. I'll be heading back soon, so I can meet you there. Now, do you need anything? I have a few odds and ends for sale. Hey, bother.
I met a heroic and reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. I'll have to burn them. You're an idiot. Be careful on the road. I hate if something happened to you. Take care, Peck. No helping it. And it's exposed now. Swing and swing and you oh. You sound like your father. Oh, it was his caravan. Hmm. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Torel. Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before El Torel fell into Avernus. These days my talents are more... eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But, between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. until Ronan shows off his thunder wave. Depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? <laughs> True. Hell 
fools take me? Die if I met Leroic and reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. I'll have to burn them. Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. The scowl on your face would frighten a troll. <laughs> You're an idiot. How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? Depends. How many people are dumb enough to ask? <laughs> True. Oh, what I do for some salt? Have a lot on my mind. Yes. Um, Damn well in it. Damn everything. I'm waiting on someone, and you aren't him. Do you mind? Good to be back behind the walls, have to say. For as long as that lasts. Goblins aren't smart enough to poison their blade. Don't make me urge you, boy. Too late! You're if it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. Half my crew are full of holes. Now I'm gonna take the blame for leading the goblins here and losing track of the bloody druid. They chased us all the way from the ruins we were poking around in. Aye, his name's Halsin. And if he's still alive, he'll be cursing the day he laid eyes on me. We've got a contract to track down some relic and he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. <laughs> Job's all yours, if you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. If I knew that, I wouldn't be back here. With half my crew gone. But look, if you're itching to meet Kellenvor, I won't stop you. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral, but my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back, if you feel like dying. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. Get back 
kid. I already told you I don't How many have it. Dumb enough to ask. How stupid are you? <clears throat> True. And we'll have a dog, right? They don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though? A little orange cat. And a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? I think I've heard of that place. Something about a stuffed dragon's head in one of the dining rooms. It's settled, Dannis. You, me, and the Elf Song Tavern first thing when we arrive. If we see you there, we'll get you a pint. For your finder's fee. I suppose we'll start in the outer city. Get a little business going. Your spiced tea is life-changing. And I can bake up almond cakes 20 at a time. Scan on your face for fighting a troll. <laughs> You're an idiot. And you quit in the middle of your shift. You sound like your father. It was his I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? You saw what they were willing to do to a child just for trying. It's Corga's influence. Without her twisting things, I believe the druids might see sense. It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. No, sir. But if there's a clear path past those goblins, you're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it.
knows? There's so many ways to die. Used to think the goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. But after hearing what you did at the gate, well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can put up a fight. We're tougher than we look. We've survived persecution, survived Avernus. Who knows? Some of us might even make it to Baldur's Gate. <laughs> there's optimism, and then there's stupid, hun. Plenty of us fell to monsters already. I don't see the rest of us lasting long out there. But if you're so sure we will, why not put a little gold on the line? I'm sure you're good for it. Just leave the gold on my corpse. After seeing you at the gate, I'm sure you'll last longer than us. Excellent. And since I ain't one to leave a debt unpaid, that means we're destined to meet in Border's Gate. Looking forward to it. So many ways to die. I best see you. West Baldur's Gate, East Elturel. Not this one, nor this one. And this one, no less worthy still. Writing the balance. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking.
most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Very well. Impossible. Thy party is full. Bloody hells. Literally. Just when I think I've got a grasp on our dilemma, a devil shows up. <sighs> no matter. We've dealt with every other oddity thrown at us lately. We can handle this one too. Now, as for this Raphael, he knows our secret. He claims he can help. What do you make of him? Anticipation. She is testing me somehow. About Raphael. I suppose it was a lot to take in. A devil sought us out, teased us with his help, but he also stared as if we were the banquet, rather than the one on the table. We can't hedge our bets here. Best we decide how to deal with him, if at all. you got there eventually. I know people who work much like our new acquaintance does. You don't need a scourge or a rack to break people. Fear and self-doubt are sufficient. When actual pain comes, the victim's already done the heavy lifting for their torturer. There were no right answers with that devil. He was toying with his food. Us. Aren't you glad that I am? It's an effective trick. Watch out for it. And for Raphael. Cast aside some of your present company, then... Almost pleasant, traveling with company. Fine. What's on your mind? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them.
Without delay. All right, what now? With haste. What can I do for you? Speak. What's on your mind? I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. I wasn't expecting it, but I'm glad to have some company on this journey. All right, some company wouldn't hurt on the road.
Finally, some good fortune. Come morning, we know what to do. The sooner we find the druid house in, the better. I can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. Head to Baldur's Gate. Someone's waiting for me. Let a girl have some secrets. Was there anything else? The same. These parasites are proving suspiciously benign. But suppose I turn. What would you do? Really? I'd just kill you. Anyway, get some rest. Try not to dream about tying me up. I wasn't expecting it. But I'm glad to have some company on this journey. Fine. What's on your mind? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. You know, I've been thinking, reflecting on what tomorrow might bring. When we find the druid, will he know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? <laughs> Why not? You've been to the hells and back. Survived the crash. Survived everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. <laughs> A delicious thought, but... The right moment. I'm sorry. I... I need to clear my head. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. A fine evening, don't you think? The moonlight shines warmly on us. The breeze caresses our faces. Hideous. All of it. Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Clear. Your curiosity is to be commended. Githyanki are hatched in crashes all throughout realm space. Clear is one of many. It's there I first saw a Kithrak mount a red dragon. Where I slit my cousin's throats at the Vaj's command. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. Speak. to sate you and be sated. I lead, you follow. So you think. Let's see if you're right. Gith train relentlessly. 
We know our bodies inside and out. Let me show you. Close your eyes and submit. A pause. your neck. Open. Taste. You awake in pain. Your back, your hands, even your tongue ache. It's time to rise. Dawn is upon us. Time for pleasure has passed. I might take more later, should my whims so carry me. Up now. The sun soon rises. Every breath, every blink proves exhausting. A long day awaits you. After another, more goblins. If I like choose to kill you, next. you will not even see it. Anything else? Of course, but please remember Help. you're not the only one in need.
Sylvanas. Need anything else? Of course. But please, remember, you're not the only one in need. Sylvana.
Need anything else? Of course. But please, remember, you're not the only one in need. Silvana. understand my need for servants. They will help you, but only if I ask. Do not. 